My, 28 male, ex-girlfriend, 26 female, is furious that I lied to her about my real income and benefits during our relationship. Did I do the right thing? English is not my first language and I apologize for any grammar mistake. I, 28 male, am legally blind with some remaining vision left. From what I can best describe my vision is looking through clouds. I make six figures from rental properties, investment and disability benefits. I also have a connection with a premium airline that allow me to have significant discount on any flight and accommodation. Anyways, I met my ex-girlfriend, let's call her Jen, through a mutual friend and I found her to be very sweet and caring. Our friendship grew closer and we started dating. She knew I was legally blind and I asked her if she was sure as I might be too reliant on her. She took her time and said yes. Due to my past relationships where I was being taken advantage of, I decided not to disclose my real income and flight benefits. I only told her my income was around $50,000 and that I own one rental property. Our relationship was great and I made sure not to be reliant on her but she insisted on helping me whenever I struggled with navigating around places and ordering food. To reward her for being a great partner, I bought her luxury gifts and overseas trips together. She was very happy which also made me happy. However, after six months of dating, she suddenly told me she realized she wanted to have an independent partner and did not want to be seen as someone who is dating a blind person so she broke up with me. I was heartbroken but I understood. Fast forward to four months later, I invited four close friends of mine on a trip to Japan as a way to move on and spend quality time with friends. All flights and accommodation were paid by me. The trip happened last week and we had a good time. My friends were very accommodating to me and grateful for my generosity. Jen found out about the trip from a story posted by one of my close friends. She asked my friend about it and they told her that I paid for the whole trip and that's where she found out that I have flight benefits and I make more than I originally told her. She called me to confront me about it saying if I told her the truth she would have stayed with me. I explained to her that I have been taken advantage of in the past and that I did not want to be treated the same again. She was angry and said she is not that kind of person and that I will never find a better partner. My friend said she is clearly a gold digger. I forgave my friend who told Jen because they thought she knew. I questioned myself whether or not keeping my high income and flight benefits secret was the right thing to do and if I should be honest about it in any future potential relationship. A part of me tells me she is only angry that I lied to her in the whole relationship. It is hard to be in a relationship as a blind person and I rather spend time with quality friends. You know, <clears throat> I think it's a good thing that um, men with a lot of money um, don't straight up tell women that, that they make a lot of money. Because you don't want a woman to just focus on your money. Because naturally, all to most women only care or their initial value in you is about the money. So it will cloud their judgment in you. Um, it will make them like, I don't know, um, destroy some of their rules, you know, like uh, ignore some of their rules or some of their standards, which in turn will just make them unhappy themselves. And then, well, will make the relationship unhappy. She could see that she broke up with him because she didn't want him to depend on her so much. He didn't, he didn't, she didn't want to be his caregiver I guess in a sense which is a little bit ridiculous because when you're a partner you you know you take care of each other but I guess because he has a disability you do it for in that particular relationship you do it more than natural with uh, compared to other relationships but he was kind of upfront with her right I mean in a sense right he just he said that he he had a disability that that's definitely upfront with her and I think most women will take a chance on you, but, you know, their, I don't know, their preferences, their personality, their whatever kicks in and saying that, you know what, I can't deal with it. I don't want to take care of this man. I don't want to be his mom in a sense. Um, I mean, he treated her well, right? He, he didn't, he didn't say how much, I mean. He didn't say he was rich, but he, you know, bought her gifts, took her on trips. So he took care of her. He provided for her in a sense, or he just, he not lavished her, but he, he was an attentive boyfriend in a sense, right? To the best of his ability. But, and it was fine that it wasn't enough for her. So that's fine. I think it's ridiculous, right? 
so towards the end, you know, he he lavished, you know, he spoiled his friends. She she got mad at him for not telling him that to telling her that he had money, that he could do this stuff. Um, you broke up with him not because of money. So really, it really didn't matter. Why would he need to tell you this? Because why? So she could evaluate, reevaluate her preferences, her standards and rules. So she could ignore, right? What um, some things she doesn't like. Because like, like this, right? She doesn't want to take care of him. But if he had the money, she would ignore that. R really? So it's like, no, not, not you're fake. You, you're lying to yourself, right? You're lying to him. You will take care of him because he has the money. Just think about this. If they married, she's taking care of him, all this stuff. He loses all his money. Well, she only took care of him or stayed with him because of that money. So now you don't have it. So obviously, you know that in this in a possible future, she would have left him because he didn't have money because she didn't want to take care of him. So no, she is that kind of woman. So she is ridiculous in thinking that she's not. So you could see that, yeah, she is a gold digger because she would only change, you know, her standards if you qualify in other areas like money. So, yeah, because you know where her loyalty lies in your money. Um, for, for him, uh, the advice what he was talking about at the end is that, no, you should keep on doing what you're doing because you want to re weed out the people that are there for you for you would stay with you on this journey because again being in a relationship with him may be a bit difficult than other kinds of relationship because yes he he has a disability so you you as a partner will have to be more attentive more understanding so on and so on so yeah you want a partner that focuses on that if they stay they know that this is what they will they have to be fine with and they have this is a life that they know that they are getting themselves into. Don't make them like, okay, ignore it, right? Ignore this, the, the life of being with a, a, a person that has a disability, just because of, there's money there. Because like I said, if the money's gone, the disability is still there. So that means you know that they would not be with you because of disability. So once the money's gone, they will leave you. So. I mean, I get the part where he's saying lying, but um, I'll probably just say, I don't know, fudge it a little bit, say that you're doing well, or say that maybe you make, I don't know, 60K, 70K, that's not bad. Um, and just, you know, like he, did, like he was doing, like he bought luxury, you know, luxury gifts, trips and stuff like that for her still. So you can still spoil them on a low pay. You don't need to tell them the exact amount you have. So I don't, yeah, I get the lies, but you can fudge it a little bit. But it's for a, a, a cor correct cause.